I am going to discuss the dimensional formula and SI unit of permeability of free space, which is mu zero. So for that, I am going to use this concept where a current carrying solenoid and the current is I has a magnetic field that is at its center, that is mu naught, that is equal to mu zero times small n times I. I is the current in the solenoid. Small n is the number of turns per unit length, where capital N is the number of the turns. L is the length of the solenoid. So small n is equal to n upon L, right? So I'm going to use this formula. So B naught is equal to mu zero times n times of i. Now from here, I can write down Tesla. That is equal to mu zero. Now this is n by L multiplied by ampere. This is meter. So Tesla meter goes up and then the ampere goes down. That is the SI unit of mu zero because n is the number of turns. It does not have any unit. It can be further found out that Newton upon ampere square is also the unit of mu zero. And you can use biot sauer law for finding out, but one and the same. Now let's write down the dimensional formula of the mu zero. So I'm still going to write this as F is equal to B plus I V I L sine theta. We know this formula that when a current carrying wire is placed in a magnetic field, the length is L, current is I in a magnetic field B, it experiences a force F. So I'm simply going to use B as F upon I times of L that is equal to mu naught. So instead of this B naught, I've written this mu naught times N by L times the current, right? Now this length, length goes off. Now this force can be written as, by the way, let me pull this down over here. This does not have any unit. So force upon current square, that will be the dimensional formula. And further, I'm going to write this as kg, this is kg meter upon second square, that is force, and then ampere raised to minus two, right? So this can be written as m times of a, this is kg meter upon second square, current square goes up. So what am I going to write over here? Mu zero can be written as m, then l, then t, and a. m raised to one, mass raised to one, length raised to one, time raised to minus two, and again current raised to minus two. From this formula, the Tesla can also be written as Newton upon ampere into meter that is tesla now this tesla i'm going to use it over here right so instead of this instead of this tesla i'm going to write down newton upon ampere into meter and this into meter upon ampere stays so we get newton upon ampere square again as the si unit 